Welcome to the Cisco Spaces event, Make the Office a Magnet and Not a Mandate. I'm joining you here from our headquarters at the heart of Silicon Valley on a lovely spring morning. This building is a living, breathing example of what a smart space is. Also joining us today are three amazing speakers, the inspiring Francine Katsodis, EVP and Chief People and Purpose Officer of Cisco, the amazing Ariana Huffington, founder of Thrive Global, entrepreneur and best-selling author, and the incredible Dr. Deepak Chopra, the founder of Chopra Foundation, a pioneer in integrative medicine, and also a best-selling author. So to start with, let's go and experience a smart space. Fran is waiting for us to walk through together. Hi, Fran. Hey, Rajesh. How are you? Lovely to meet you here. Lovely to meet you here, too. Thank you for coming today. I'm excited about this. Thank you. Wonderful. And so we'd love for us to walk our audiences through what a Cisco smart space feels like. You know, as we walk into the lobby, we see this 50 inches of awesomeness that tells you what's going on in this building. As you can see, we know the occupancy levels, we know the air quality, CO2 levels, all things that make you feel warm and cared for in the building. Yeah, I think people will be surprised to see the air quality and yeah. the CO2 level. You normally don't see that when you walk into a location. Absolutely, and especially after the pandemic, people are concerned. And, That's right. You know, and lovely, and then here's the magic. As you touch on which floor you're going to, voila. The it entire is. building has come to life in three dimensions. It's such a cool map too. It's Absolutely. really great to see all of the conference rooms. And if I remember where we see red, that means that the office or the conference space is being used. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. In real time, you can tell which rooms are free, where you are, and then pick a room and navigate to it and choose a meeting. It's great. It makes it easier to collaborate and meet people and have a great working day. Okay, so as I look at this, I see that one of the rooms um, is a smart room. Absolutely. I'd love to know more about that. The best way to do that is to pick the room and you can find out how to get there. It just takes a click of a button. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Cisco Spaces. And now I have this same map here on my phone and I can say, take me there. Absolutely, that is magical, isn't it? I need this. <laughs> <laughs> and? Just like you see on the screen, your phone now leads you to that location. Okay, so let's, so let's walk head this space. way. Yes. Perfect. So you know what's so cool here? So it says follow the line for 35 feet. Yeah. For a guest, that's great to know that you're close Absolutely. or you have a sense that you're going in the right direction. Absolutely. In any office you walk into, you can just turn this on and find your place. And here we are into our meeting room. And guess what? This is a smart room. That's amazing. And I love how it says you have arrived. So I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Okay, so this is different. Yes, as we walk in, and this is the magic. So far, the room has been optimized for energy savings, as you can see, which means that the air conditioning has been turned off because no one is in the room. And that switched, and now the room is being optimized for well-being of the participants in the room. I love that. And so tell me, um, when you come into this room, what you see is that it's adjusting the air conditioning and the ventilation as well. Absolutely. You can actually see this on the ceiling. The air conditioning just came on. And so while it's amazing for the people in the room to have that ventilation, from a workplace resources perspective, mm -hmm. also amazing to have it off when no one is here in the room. Absolutely, Fran. You know, the impact of this one room in terms of the carbon footprint by doing this, making it a smart room, yeah. we could essentially save about 100 pounds of carbon a year. Wow. That's like two full grown trees per room. Now, when we walked into the lobby, we were able to book this room. We got directions to come over. Yeah. By any chance, can I do this remotely or do I need to be here? Absolutely. You can actually book a room or a desk from your hub. You can just look at the available rooms or desks and with a single click, book it 
Wow. So that's unique because when we look at this from the past, we were only able to book rooms. So to book a desk is more aligned to the way in which we're working today. And the whole hybrid work experience where you can come in, book your desk for the day and do that dynamically. That's very cool. This is amazing to see for the people that are here. But talk me through the angle if you work in workplace resources. What is that like? Absolutely. So I want to show you how this whole building looks from a, from a workplace resources and a real estate team's point of view. Okay. We're going to go to our uh, knock center and take a look at uh, some of the analytics around this. Perfect. So here we are at uh, the Workplace Operations Center. Yeah. We just came up with that? We just came up with that. We think it should be walk. It should be walk. Here's a walk. <laughs> we have knock, sock, and walk. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so let's look at what we have. If you're a facilities team member, you would love to see something like this. Yeah, right? absolutely. Just see how your building's being used at different times of the day. Look at where people spend time through the heat maps. You can just go back in time and see at different times this morning, how was occupancy by floor, by area, by region. You can look at the room occupancy and you can look at all the metrics of the building, the entire health of the building. The T-walk levels, the CO2 levels, temperature, humidity, all of it in kind of one place. It's so funny because I think sometimes leaders wonder how they should set up their space. Yeah. And when you have these types of insights, it'll tell you what part of your floor is being used, which I think is so important. Absolutely, and this it, it, it just makes it intuitive because these were all different technologies before mm -hmm. that you had to go to different places to find them. Now it's all coming together because you want to know how people use a space and then in that context, understand the other metrics. And this is what this does. And then here we have another interesting thing. Talk about ghosting. You heard of the word ghosting, Fan? <laughs> I have, but never from a workplace resources perspective. <laughs> oh, so this is called the ghost meetings or ghosted rooms. And, and this is a popular thing, as you know, with people book a room and never show up. Huh. Now you can actually tell if that happened, and then that also helps you understand the efficiency of utilization of the spaces. So it tells us that 10% of the meetings have been ghosted. And then what do we see in this final graph here? And so you can now look at it by once the rooms, at the occupancy level of the room, because one thing that happens is we have large rooms with few people using it or small rooms which are fully occupied. This gives you a sense to know how the utilization of the room is by occupants. This is an amazing view. You can do it at a individual floor level, at the building level or the entire enterprise level. I think these are the insights that make us architect our space in an intelligent way. It's exciting to see. Absolutely, that forms the backbone of a smart space, is being able to know how the space is being used. And this continues to environmental quality metrics. And again, all of these are computed of the infrastructure that already exists. We're not deploying new technologies here. The existing Cisco networks and devices are actually sending all this valuable information that you can use to make business decisions. All right, I think it's time for us to go and meet Ariana at the fireside chat. She's waiting for us. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs>